hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel seafarer life i am back with new video so first of all happy independence day to all of you this video will cover all questions related to indicator diagram for mu class 4th oral as well as written exam this topic is very very important 99% chance that surveyor will ask this question also this video may be little bit lengthy because the content is more so okay let's start first one what is the purpose of taking indicator diagram so by taking indicator diagram we can know what is happening inside the cylinder same thing is written here the combustion in the cylinder and also to adjust the engine we can adjust accordingly after knowing what is happening inside the cylinder the compression pressure and maximum pressure in the cylinder can be determined also it gives efficiency of combustion in the cylinder condition of the running air irregularities in fuel pumping and injection okay second one what are the types of indicator diagram and describe each so there are four type of indicator diagram first one power card compression diagram draw card light spring diagram we will try to learn these all four separately so the first one is power card it is taken with the indicator drum rotating in phase with the piston movement this point is to remember we have to keep in mind this point because this is very important and the area within this diagram this diagram the area within this diagram represent the work done during one complete cycle from this diagram we can calculate power produced in the cylinder that's it the second one compression diagram so this one is taken in similar manner to the power card but the fuel shut off in the cylinder when we will take this diagram at that time we will shut the fuel oil to the cylinder and the height of this curve shows maximum compression pressure so this is the height this is the height of this curve so this this height will be our compression pressure reduction in height of this diagram shows low compression of course if uh, the reduction of this height is less means less compression if it is more then more compression third one drag, draw card this is also known as out of phase diagram and it is taken in similar manner to power card with fuel pump engaged it is taken with the indicator drum 90 degree out of phase with the piston stroke this point to remember this point surveyor always want to listen from us because most of the time he will ask about what is the difference between draw card and power card so in that difference we have to tell this point okay and this diagram illustrate more clearly the pressure changes during fuel combustion fuel timing or injector faults may be detected from its shape so we have to remember this graph also during oral exam as well as written exam surveyor will ask us to draw this diagram draw draw card diagram draw power card diagram or any one among four the last one light spring diagram it is taken similar to the power card and in phase with the engine and with a light compression spring fitted to the indicator this is the difference from other third one so we have to remember this point that a light compression spring fitted to this indicator when we will take this light spring diagram this diagram shows pressure changes during exhaust and scavenge to an enlarged scale we have to remember this diagram oral or written surveyor may ask us third one what is the difference between power card and draw card refer to answer of question 2 part a and b you just go and read that point you will find difference question number four what are the irregularities in indicator card diagram and indication and cause of same so first first irregularities early ignition and the indication of this irregularities can be known by abnormally high peak pressure of the unit is recorded at the top of piston stroke knocking sound comes out of the engine exhaust temperature reduced since combustion start long before it is supposed to and what is the, what is the causes of this irregularity 
maybe your fuel pump timing is incorrect your fuel injector may be damaged or the fuel quality is not up to the mark okay this is the graph for early ignition this one is your normal one and this is your irregularities diagram so you can see if there is early ignition then the compression pressure will be more second one late ignition and the indication of late ignition is low peak pressure is indicated for the unit after top dead center second one combustion continue during expansion stroke because ignition is late there so of course combustion will be there in expansion stroke also which is supposed to be finished in power stroke only the third one reduced power of the engine due to incomplete combustion of the fuel and energy lost in the exhaust causes of this uh, irregularities is faulty fuel injector poor fuel quality wrongly timed or leaking fuel pump incorrect atomization combustion air supply is low and this is the graph for your late ignition this one is your normal and this is your late ignition see the difference in the peak of these two graph so here your compression pressure is low just because of late ignition third one leaky fuel injector indication for this irregularity is reduced power in the affected unit high exhaust temperature and presence of bl black smoke in the exhaust sudden ups and down in indicated diagram in the fuel injection and expansion side after burning due to incomplete combustion of fuel causes is simple leaking fuel injector choking of fuel injector spray holes which lead to improper atomization this is your graph for le leaky fuel injector this one is your normal smooth curve but see this type of graph will obtain when your fuel is leaking like this zigzag not smooth like normal one partly choked fuel wall indication for this irregularity is low exhaust gas temperature of the unit power card and draw card indication loss of engine power if your fuel wall is choked of course the power of engine will be less and the causes of this irregularity is fuel oil contamination and improper purification contamination may choke your fuel wall <coughs> carbon formation at injector tip carbon deposit on fuel wall due to overheating this is your graph see this one is your normal one which is dotted so this graph is very smooth but if your wall is choked then it will be irregular in shape like this i think this one is last one no second last low compression indication for this is low compression as simply suggest low pressure in the indicator card engine power will be reduced and causes of this is improper combustion if air supply is insufficient then low compression okay the third one uh, leakage of air in between piston ring and liner while compression stroke due to worn out liner or piston ring this graph is for low compression this one is a normal one this is normal and in low compression your peak pressure is going very low so this much is the difference between normal and low compression choked exhaust so indication of this irregularity is power loss in the unit increased exhaust temperature turbocharger surging because not uh, enough exhaust will go to your turbocharger so there is chance of turbocharging turbocharger surging and it will also affect scavenging efficiency causes of this is improper combustion and increased okay these two are the graph for choked exhaust and early or late opening of exhaust valve this is your normal one and this is your abnormal one the same is here the dotted line is of normal one and this one is early this one is for early opening of exhaust valve and this one is late opening of exhaust valve so that's it and i think topic for next video will be from electrical side but uh, what topic i am going to cover is not decided yet so thank you very much for watching subscribe to my channel and please share